Welcome. In this video, we're doing the volume of pyramids and cones. We're doing page 731 and 732. Now, just to point out to you, I'm not going to have the questions on the screen because I need space to write. Please use your photocopies and then or try these and then come back and have a look. So let's get started. Question number one, we are on page 731. Question number, so before we get started, the volume of a pyramid is 1 over 3 base times height. So question number one is a square based pyramid with two, the bases is 5 feet squared and the height is 8 feet. So volume is equal to 1 over 3. Because it's a square, I'm going to say length times breadth and then we multiply it by the height of the pyramid. So that becomes 1 over 3 times 5 feet times 5 feet times 8 feet. And that gives me <clears throat> 1 over 3 times 5 times 5 times 8, 66.67, 66.67 feet cubed. Question number two, similar scenario, we've got this rectangular base, so volume is 1 over 3, rectangle is length times breadth, and I multiply that by the height of the prism, so that becomes 1 over 3 times 7 centimeters times 4 centimeters times 8 centimeters, and that is... 1 over 3 times 7 times 4 times 8, 74.67 centimeters cubed. Question 3. I am going to just do volume. Hold on. Volume is equal to rectangular base, length times breadth times the height of the prism multiplied by one third right so i forgot the third quickly sorry volume is one third of that that means i have one third times 10 inches times 8 inches times 14 inches and that gives me 1 over 3 times 10 times 8 times 14 373.33 373.33 inches cubed question number four is where we move to the cone so for this cone i am going to say that volume of a cone is equal to 1 over 3 pi r squared h so that means I'm going to say 1 over 3 pi. My radius is 12 meters. I square that. My height is 25 meters. Put that in a calculator. 1 over 3 times pi times 12 squared times 25 gives me 376991. 3769,91 meters cubed. Question number five. Again, we've got a cone, so volume is equal to 1 over 3 pi r squared h, and that is 1 over 3 pi. My diameter is 14, so my radius is going to be 7 yards I square that and my height is not given so I now need to calculate it using Pythagoras uh, side is equal to the square root of hypotenuse squared minus side squared that is equal to the square root of 25 squared minus 7 squared because it's the radius it's only one triangle it's not the cone and then I am going to input that square root of 25 squared minus 7 squared gives me 24 so that gives me 24 24 yards 
and then I input all of that into the calculator and I say 1 over 3 times pi times 7 squared times 24. 1, 2, 3, 1, comma, 5, 0. 1, 2, 3, 1, comma, 5, 0 yards squared. Squared? Nope, cubed. Question number six, again, we are looking at a cone. Volume is equal to one over three pi r squared h, which is equal to one over three pi multiplied by, okay, now I don't have r. So to get r, I am going to use um, trigonometry. I have a triangle that looks like this. I have a 60 degree angle over here. I have a 90 degree angle here. I have 18 millimeters here and what I want is adjacent over opposite so I am going to calculate and I'm gonna say adjacent no let's go opposite over adjacent opposite over adjacent is equal to 10 of theta I want adjacent so I'm gonna say adjacent is equal to opposite over 10 of theta adjacent is equal to 18 divided by 10 of 60 degrees input that into the calculator 18 divided by 10 of 60 degrees that gives me 10 comma 39 adjacent is equal to 10 comma 39 so my r my radius is 10 comma 39 millimeters long and my height i square the 10 comma 39 my height is 18 millimeters. Now I'm going to input that into the calculator. And I'm going to say, I'm going to take the answer as it is. Hold on, delete one. Answer and I'm going to square it. Answer squared times 1 over 3 times pi times 18. So I've done everything correct. I just started with the radius squared because it was already in the calculator. So I moved the radius squared to the beginning and I didn't repeat it, but it's the same formula. It's 1 over 3 pi r squared times h, or it's r squared times 1 over 3 pi r h. And that gives me 2035,75. 2035,75 millimeters cubed. And that is page 731. So let's go ahead and do page 732. Okay, so 732 is our next page. We'll start with question number one. A rectangular, no, this one is a square-based prism. So a uh, pyramid, sorry, our volume is equal to one over three. Because it's a square, I'm going to say side squared. Um, I prefer to do length times breadth because you guys haven't done much of this. And I multiply it by the height. So I'm going to say one over three. My length is 9.2 yards. My width is 9,2 yards. And my height is not 13. Careful. Okay, so now let's calculate this height. Um, you need to realize that we are working with a triangle. Hmm. The triangle that we're working with, the height is in the center, and then you've got um, a solid line on the edge, which is 13 yards, and then you are going to have the base, and the base is going to be half of technically the diagonal, which you also haven't done. Okay, we are going to go on the assumption that this is half of one side so four and a half 4.6 yards so we want to calculate this side so we're going to use pythagoras we're going to say side is equal to the square root of 13 squared minus 4.6 squared i forgot in the previous videos to write pythagoras please don't forget to write pythagoras and we're going to input this into the calculator and say square root 13 squared minus 4.6 squared, 
12.12. So our height is going to be 12.12 yards according to our calculations. Then this becomes 1 over 3 times length, which is 9.2 times 9.2 times 12.2 gives us 344.20 yards cubed. Number two, similar scenario, we've got a rectangular base, so that is 1 over 3 length, breadth, height. That is 1 over 3 times 25 times 12.5 times 23 luckily they're all given to us and that goes into the calculator 1 over 3 times 25 times 12.5 times 23 2395.83 2395.83 centimeters cubed can do question number three <coughs> Question number three is a cone. So the volume of a cone is one third pi r squared h, which is equal to one over three pi. Radius is nine feet. And we square that and h is 19 feet. So that goes into the calculator. One over three pi times nine squared times 19, 1611.64, 1611.64 feet cubed. Question number four. Question number four, we're going to put down as, as a cone as well. Volume is equal to 1 over 3 pi r squared h, which is equal to 1 over 3 pi radius is not given so here we need to calculate again we have a triangle and our triangle has got an angle of 52 degrees 90 degrees over here and 12 millimeters on this end i want to calculate this so that is adjacent over opposite adjacent over opposite Adjacent over opposite, no, nope, we don't want it that way. We want opposite over adjacent. Opposite over adjacent is tan of theta. So adjacent is equal to opposite over tan of theta. Adjacent is equal to 12 divided by tan of 52 degrees. So adjacent is equal to 12 divided by tan of 52, 9 comma, three eight nine comma three eight so nine comma three eight and the unit is millimeters we are going to square that one and multiply it by 12 millimeters and put that into the calculator <coughs> one over three pi times nine point three eight squared times 12 that gives me 1105.64 1105.64 millimeters cubed just to double check that's correct question number five this is a square based oblique prism so i'm going to leave it you don't need to know how to do obliques only right angle triangles so that is the end of volume of pyramids and cones. Please check your work, like and subscribe, and then I am going to see you in the next video. Our last video on volume is on the volume of spheres. So see you in the next video. Bye.